Okay, the storm keeps moving a little bit east, so we're going to get to that in just a second. Let's take a live look right now at St. Pete Beach. Dark clouds in that area. The Gulf's still quiet right now, but that's going to change quickly, too. Let's get right over to Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. Brooks. This is just 10 miles an hour away from becoming a Category 4 hurricane, and that's expected to happen tonight as it pushes toward Florida, making a landfall tomorrow. Here are the changes in the advisory. A brand new cone for five. The forecast having it make a landfall farther south than the earlier one. Earlier forecast was near Siesta Key Beach. This one is closer to Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. Gasparilla Bay, we're talking about almost a Hurricane Charlie type of a path as a Category 4 hurricane. Because it will make landfall at a farther south location, it won't be as susceptible to the weakening effects of wind shear that would occur farther north as you get up toward the Panhandle. So this is expected to make landfall with winds of 130 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon. That's also a little bit earlier as far as landfall goes than the forecast if it was going to track farther north because it would take longer to get there because it is likely to make landfall a little bit farther south that landfall is going to happen earlier. The track then takes it right through Orlando. Now, this will slow down significantly after it makes landfall, which is good and bad. It's good because it will allow it to weaken over land, expected to be a tropical storm by the time it gets to Orlando. That's bad because that means we'll see copious amounts of rain, which could amount in some spots to well over a foot, and in some extreme cases, depending on how this all works out, 20 to 30 inches. That's certainly a potential. It's very difficult to make a forecast like that with such a dynamic system, but looking at the speed, the very slow forward speed from a two o'clock roughly landfall, maybe late afternoon tomorrow at the latest, Wednesday afternoon, to by the time it gets to Orlando Thursday, it'll be 24 hours later. So that's gonna be 24 hours of pounding tropical downpours around the region. Flooding may be a legacy of this storm, unlike storms we've seen in the past where Charlie was a cat two hurricane by the time it was over Seminole County back in 2004, and this would be a tropical storm, still the impacts would result in trees down, uh, power outages, winds over 65 miles per hour in gusts. It would probably be a situation where it's pouring rain. We have uh, multiple tornado warnings, uh, sustained winds of 20 to 30, gusty trees, then you'll get a squall and you might get a gust to 60 or 70 miles an hour. Eventually the storm moves up toward the Carolinas this weekend. But yeah, this kind of a track, John Luan, means a lot more rain for us. It's a long duration event. That's the takeaway here. It's a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday situation. So we've got to pace ourselves through this thing and heed your local warnings because this storm will now have direct impacts on Central Florida.